Unfortunately, yes, I am a big Birmingham City fan. We went uh, and watched Hull versus Birmingham versus Hull in 1985, and it was my first football match I'd been to. There was about 3,000 fans there. The ground was empty. The football was awful. So I thought to myself, I strangely quite like this pain. You know, you go, you know, you go somewhere and you just feel like you belong there. And I think that was it really for me. And there's an essence of community. There's an essence of you've chosen your colours whether you win, whether you lose, whether you draw, whether you're in the third division or the premiership. I think it's a case of coming together. When you watch uh, something in a the theatre, you tend to just enjoy how graceful and how great actors are or dancers or comedians. So you just relax and enjoy it. When you go back to the football, it could ruin your day. That's the difference between going to a football match and then going to the theatre. You've got your pain and you've got that interest. It can be painful or be delightful. And we were playing Fulham at home and it was a must win game. We, we lost 2 0 as well, so we were doomed for relegation. We had to beat Tottenham away, which was never going to happen. We'd, we'd taken the fact that we were going to get relegated and we just had the best day ever. And we sang all the way to the end. It was like, we're going down, but they're our team and we clapped him off the pitch for playing bad. Keep right on till the end of the road. Keep right on till the end. Yeah, that's that, that, that. It goes on for ages. And it never gets boring. You go in there with great expectations. Half time you're playing miserably, but all of a sudden it comes off the back of someone's ear and you win one nil. You take it all day long. Yeah. And generally you will have a balty pie at half time. Not all of the time, but most of the time. And you will always bite into it knowing it's red hot, but you still do the same thing. You still just go for it.